Today's video is sponsored by the Iron Mic. Open the Fusion page and bring your image into the flow. In my case I will use this basketball for no particular reason, but you can use whatever you want. Bring a particle emitter node in empty space, add a particle directional force, a particle bounce, and a particle render node. Connect the render node to the out point. Select the emitter node, go to the style tab, and change the style to bitmap. Connect your image node to the yellow point of the emitter. Go to the region tab, change the region to line, and move the points to your desired position. Go to the Controls tab, make sure that you are in the first frame, check the keyframe button for the number slider, go one frame forward and bring down the number slider to zero. Increase the lifespan slider a couple of frames more than your clip's duration. Change the temporal distribution to randomly distributed. Open the spin menu and increase the Z slider and the Z variant slider. Play back your clip and you'll soon find out that you did a terrible job. Go to the Directional Force node if you want to change the direction. Select the Bounce node, go to the Region tab, right-click to the Start Y Offset slider and select Expression. Take the plus icon and connect it to the End Y Offset slider. Move the End Y Offset to the position where you want your floor. Adjust the X Start and End position to cover the entire frame. Go to the Controls tab, increase the Variance slider, the Spin, and bring down the Elasticity if you want your bounce to be softer. I don't see any real-life use for this one, but I found out how to do it, and I'm proudly flexing my skills. If you like this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, I don't really care, I'm a loser anyway.